Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's take a look at what we do when we finally finish solving the problem and then we wonder, did we get the right solution? So the question is, how do we validate the solution? And the answer is, we take the final solution and plug it back into the original equation. So whatever value we get for x, let's take that and plug it back in the original equation to see if the left side equals the right side. So here, let's try to solve this problem. And first of all, we realize we have fractions. So the first thing we should do is get rid of the fractions. And so what is the lowest common denominator here? Well, since 3 and 2 are already prime numbers, we don't need to break that one down. But we can break down the number 6. And the number 6 can be written as the product of 2 and 3. And notice that those two factors right here also appear over here. In other words, the lowest common denominator is the number 6. It happens to be the largest denominator that are present. So what we're going to do is multiply both sides of the equation by the lowest common denominator, which in this case will be 6. All right, what we have here now is we have 6 divided by 3 is equal to 2. 2 times 4 is 8x. And 6 times a half that's equal to 3. So we distribute the 6 over the two terms on the left side. And on the right side, 6 divided by 6 is 1. So we end up with 5. At this point, we want to separate the terms with the x with the terms and the terms without the x. In other words, we want to move the negative 3 to the right side. That gives us 8x is equal to 5 plus 3. 8x equals 8. And then if we divide both sides by the numerical coefficient of x, we get x is equal to 1. Now the question is, did we make a mistake or is that the correct answer? The answer for that would be to plug that back into the original equation. So the original equation was 4 3rd x minus 1 half equals 5 over 6. And what we're going to do is we're going to take the x equals 1 and plug it right back into the variable in our original equation, which means we can write that 4 thirds and let's put it in red so we can see what we're doing. Instead of x, we write the number 1 because that's what x is equal to. Minus 1 half is equal to 5 over 6. Or 4 thirds minus 1 half equals 5 over 6. Now to see if that's correct, let's go ahead and write this over a common denominator. So the common denominator would be 6, which means I need to multiply both the numerator and the denominator by 2. For this fraction and over here, I need to multiply the numerator and the denominator by 3 so that the denominators can then become equal to 6. So when I do that, I get 8 over 6 minus 3 over 6. Is that equal to question mark 5 over 6? If the answer is yes, then I found the correct solution. If the answer is no, then I made a mistake somewhere. So 8 minus 3, that would be 5 over 6, and of course, that is equal to 5 over 6. Since the two sides are equal, that means the solution I found is the correct solution. So the answer is, if you find the solution to your equation and you wonder if you got the correct solution, plug that answer back in the original equation, work it out, make sure that the two sides are equal, and then you can say, I found the right solution. That's how it's done.